You talked about <clears throat> liking when the fans are surprised and not knowing what's going to happen. I think that, that happened at WrestleMania when Jim Ross returned out of the blue to call The Undertaker what would be his last match. And I just kind of wonder, can you take us a little bit inside that stadium to when people realised this could be the last match of Undertaker? He put the, the hat and all that down in the ring, he kissed his wife, he left for what could be his last match. Take us a little bit inside of how you felt about that. I could tell you uh, I was emotional uh, because he's my friend. Um, him and I have have got a relationship between you know both of us have the same friend that we're very close to and so then him and I developed this relationship without even knowing each other that well uh, but uh, it was it was heartbreaking a little bit because this is the guy that's been here for so long and has shaped the WWE into what it is now and it's is he gone? Um, I don't know. I mean, but you you would assume. Uh, I think there were some tears, uh, you know, from the fans that probably you know they they think they may have seen the last of the Undertaker. And at the end of the day, if he's done, man, I respect the heck out of him for doing it his way and and doing what he wanted to do in his last match. Um, he is everything or was everything to the WWE and I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to to meet him and uh, have a great conversation with him he's a he's a great guy and uh, it's uh, if he's gone if he's that was the last one then he will be missed